Now, mm. here, here's one other thing that I think is very interesting. Maybe someday I can prove this, but right now it's just an observation. Okay. All communication systems have an encoder, here's a code, and a decoder. Right? Mm -hmm. And you do not have communication without all three of these things. Okay? Now, if communication is not a property of matter, energy, space, and time, then communication is a property of God. Okay, you lost me there. Okay. All right, because there's a, you have drawn a circle somewhat arbitrarily around uh, these components of the universe. Right. 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 So, uh, and you, information can be here in this, in, you know, because beings, conscious beings right. can create it. Right. But you know, the, where does the conscious being? I understand that point. But why cannot communication also be something you just draw the circle around? Well, I can, I can, draw, I can draw a circle. Uh, OK, great question. So here's my seven, here's my seven layer model, mm -hmm. OK? And here's my ones and zeros, and here's my Microsoft Word, OK? Mm -hmm. I, can, I can draw a circle around this layer, but it still refers to this layer. Right. And then I can draw a circle around this layer, and I can keep drawing circles. But they always keep referring to something above, because information is top down, not bottom up. Mm -hmm. But th isn't there, in this example that you built before, I, it's, it's somebody's idea that gets conveyed, right? That's, the, right. that's where the buck yeah. stops, if you will, right? right? So here we have ideas. Right. But even ideas refer to an originator. So we could draw a circle around all the ideas in the whole world. And they still refer to something outside, something outside. the circle. Right. OK. And that's the Godel point again, right? Yes. OK. Therefore, communication is a property of God. Mm -hmm. OK. Now. I, I can't quite prove this, but I, 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 I put an observation before you, okay? That, that Christian theology describes God the Father as hidden and unknowable without being revealed by the Word John 1.1 1, 1 says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And Colossians says, in him are hidden, still hidden, all mysteries of knowledge and wisdom. And nobody understands the Word until the Holy Spirit reveals it. Reveals it. Encoder, code, decoder. OK, that and, and so so my, so my observation is every instance of communication in the world is a reflection of the Trinity. And you say that's an inherent truth or just a coincidence? Well, it's an observation. It's an observation. OK, um, that that. In communication, um, communication is an agreement between sender and receiver, okay? And, and s scripture speaks of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit being in eternal communion and communication and love for one another, and that they're, they are three parts, yet they're indivisible. Remember, whatever is outside the circle has to be indivisible. Now, 
I think this will make a little more sense when I introduce the idea of good and evil. Okay. Okay. Another simple topic. Yeah, another simple. <laughs> another simple topic. Okay. 